Short Stories Hotel in LA. Let's check it out. In today's video, we're going to take you on a tour of this 66-room mid-century hotel that's going to be a great fit for anyone who loves a bargain but still wants great design. As a bonus, the short stories is close to some of LA's most iconic landmarks. We'll show you which ones. All right, let's jump in. Remember, we're supported by you, not the hotels we review, so please like and share this video and it really helps when you subscribe. Please and thank you. The hotel's smack dab in the center of LA's action, right below West Hollywood and a bit east of Beverly Hills. The lobby has some interesting sculptures and furniture and leads out to this patio on the left with the pool straight ahead. I think my favorite thing about this hotel is this patio space that connects the lobby, pool, and the indoor-outdoor restaurant all together. It's a pleasant place to hang out and get some work done during the quieter parts of the day. We'll come back here in the evening when it gets busy. The pool's on the smaller side and there's not tons of seating. I think this living wall works really well next to the pool. And you can also see it from the lobby. Okay, let's head up to the room. The hotel's done a great job decorating these rooms. The furniture is modern, clean, and they've picked finishes that make the room feel warm and inviting. For a longer stay, this round table and sofa are nice to have, but it's a bit tight. I like the art piece above the bed. It fits the modern, retro vibe of this place. And the knickknacks add another design layer. The lighting is nice too, and bonus, it's all dimmable, even the lamps. The drink setup is good, if you like booze. There's a mini fridge below, which to my disappointment, wasn't stocked. I don't comment on floors much, but I do like the wood parquet floor here and the terrazzo they've used on the sink and in the bathroom. It's a bit weird to have the sink outside the bath. I don't mind that much, it's just that I wish it were a bit bigger. There's a nice walk-in shower, and I like that they have art in the bathroom too. This place really feels like a 50s hotel, in a good way, with these open-air corridors, and the plants are a really nice touch too. They've turned this dead space into a seating area, and I was kind of surprised to see a couple people using it. <laughs> Maybe because they couldn't find a seat at the pool. There's two buildings here. We suggest trying to get a room in the north building where the pool, restaurant, and courtyard are located. In terms of price, this place is a pretty good deal for LA, with rooms starting at about 350 bucks if you book early. One of the reasons we're recommending the short stories is because it's really central with lots of great places within walking distance. It's across the street from CBS Television City, less than a 15 minute walk from the hotel and all within a one block radius. There's the Peterson Auto Museum, the Academy of Motion Pictures and LACMA. I can't figure out if I love or hate the architecture of the Peterson, but it's unique for sure and maybe it's supposed to reflect the modernity of the automobile. <laughs> yeah, that's some bull This is where Oscar lives.
And right next door is the world famous LA County Museum of Modern Art, AKA LACMA. Definitely worth a visit. You could easily spend a whole day here. The architecture of the building itself is really interesting. I love this installation they have out front. But of course, there's some wonderful art inside. The old school La Brea tar pits are a two minute walk from LACMA. After a long day, I headed back to the hotel, but made one last stop at The Grove, an outdoor shopping center that's maybe five minutes from the hotel. It feels pretty Disneyland to me. And almost across the street from the hotel is the old farmer's market that used to look like this, but now it looks like this. There's a bunch of places to grab food here, but I have no idea if they're any good. The restaurant and bar definitely started to pick up as the sun went down. But I had dinner plans, but by the time I got back, this place was hopping. I love the outdoor fireplace, the indoor-outdoor design, and the restaurant has really good music and a fun vibe for sure. Uh, good morning. Uh, the pillows get a seven, and I would give kind of the darkness of the room only maybe a four. These east-facing blinds don't work great. It's pretty bright in here. So what else do you need to know? There's valet parking available and pets are welcome. In terms of ratings, they get a 10 for Wi-Fi speed, a seven for kids, a nine for close by dining options, and a 10 for accessibility. We're recommending the short stories because it's a really good deal. You get a lot of design for the money here. I also really like the courtyard. It's relaxing. It's got a really great vibe and really good music. And it's in a really good location if you want to be in the heart of the action. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks. If you want more info about this hotel, there's a link below to our website where you can get a free PDF with practical insider information. See us in the next video.